Hey guys, Mike McLaren here. I'm really excited because I have a cool snare drum exercise that I want to share with you. Now, a couple of weeks ago I was working through a, uh, a snare drum etude and I came across this section and I thought why couldn't this be a, a snare drum exercise not only um, not only as a warm-up before practicing but also as a speed and endurance exercise on the snare drum or around the drum set. So this is what I came up with. You take the, two, it's a two bar accent pattern and then from the two bar accent pattern we're going to divide it or we're going to use um, triplets and sixteenth notes and then each triplet and sixteenth note is going to have either a hand-to-hand -hand variation or a one-handed accent pattern variation. Now, when we go through each of those sections, uh, there's going to be sort of a, a right, left, right, right, or a left, right, left, left to turn it around so then the right hand lead becomes the left hand lead. So part 1A is dealing with triplets and it's going to be the one handed accent pattern. So let's see what that sounds like. Alright, cool. So we have 1A down. Let's move on towards 1B, which is the 16th note variation. Alright, so we have 1A and 1B. Great. Triplet 16th notes. We can now play the 16th note separately or the triplet one separately. Or we do right hand lead, left hand lead, triplet. And then we do right hand lead, left hand lead, 16th note. And switch between the two of them because the technique involved between the triplet and the 16th note is similar but it's kind of different. And so that's what, that's really the benefit you're going to get out of this exercise is that being able to switch between the triplets and the sixteenth notes or while maintaining the same accent pattern. So we have finished part one. Part two is the exact same thing as part one, except now we're doing hand-to-hand -hand accents versus one-handed accents. So we're going to keep the same two-bar accent pattern. Uh, let's hear what 2A sounds like. Awesome, so we have 2A. Now let's try 2B, which is the 16th note variation. So we can do the exact same thing as the part 1, part 1A and part 1B. We can work on them separately, the triplets and the 16th notes. Or what we can do is we can do the same thing, is combine the two of them. So we do triplets first, hand to hand, 16th notes, hand to hand, triplets, 16th notes. And again, same exact thing, which is really beneficial if you're going around your drum set. Um, maybe skipping the accents at first, but then adding them in when you can. Um, and then working on just speed, endurance, see how long you can go.
this has been sort of my interpretation of a cool speed endurance um, slash warm up exercise and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, share it to, with other drummers if you dug it and uh, there will be more lessons and more cover videos coming soon.